an unemployed bikey gang associate Michael Andrew Bankier, 36, who amassed four houses and more than $1.5 million in unexplained cash has been jailed for money laundering. Bankier was arrested in 2017 as part of a joint investigation by the Australian Federal Police, Queensland Police and the Australian Taxation Office. Police at the time stated that he was a senior associate of the Mongols bikey gang. In sentencing, Judge Jennifer Rosengren told the court that Bankier's serious offending ran for six years between November 2011 and November 2017. She said properties at Hope Island, Rose Bay, Wanga Wallen and Pimpama were purchased during the period when Bankier and his wife were company directors but otherwise unemployed. Judge Rosengren said there were 22 bank accounts associated with Bankier and his wife which were used to make 174 cash deposits totaling $902,500 into 19 accounts operated by good friend retired finance manager Cheryl King. She said King had made 10 transfers in favor of Bankier, his wife's accounts or associated entities totaling about $1.27 million. Judge Rosengren said a financial analysis had identified substantial unexplained income of $1.53 million which was received by Bankier, his wife's accounts and associated entities. She said Bankier's accounts recorded negligible income after his wife's tanning company was deregistered in 2014. The judge said Bankier's role was to cause the deposit of significant sums of money without them coming to the attention of authorities. The offending involved a significant level of planning and organization right from the start, when Bankier had made five separate deposits into four of King's accounts at four different locations. The period of the offending was some six years and therefore it was protracted. The amount involved is significant, in that it is more than nine times the monetary threshold for this offense. I am satisfied that this offending falls at the higher end for this offense. Judge Rosengren sentenced Bankier to two years jail but ordered he be released on a $400 good behavior bond after serving four months. Late last year, the district court ordered Bankier to forfeit $1.8 million in assets to the Commonwealth, including two properties and rental income. AFP Commander Andrew Donago said criminals attempting to live the high life off ill-gotten gains could be assured that police would catch up with them and end the party. Not only will the AFP arrest and charge offenders for their criminal activity, we will come after any assets they have accumulated while breaking the law. Home Affairs Minister and Gold Coast MP Karen Andrews said it was great work by the AFP. Hitting the bank balance of criminals means they have less funding for their illegal activities, keeping Queenslanders safe, she said. We'll take these illegal funds and instead use them in our fight against criminality, by funding projects to keep our community safe.